Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Martinsville Speedway for the Easy Idle 500 with two more races to go in the season. We race under the lights of Martinsville Speedway to see who will be in the championship four at Miami. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, H.J. Hollis is on the front trying to get his first win of the 2024 season with only two races left and Cruz Ramirez trying to keep that playoff dominance intact. In row two, Colin Bargain and Lightning McQueen trying to fight who will make it to the championship four, trying to keep their championship hopes alive. In row three, J.D. McPillar, the spring race winner, and Bubba Wheelhouse starting in sixth place. In row four, Daniel Suarez, last week's winner at Phoenix, and Cal Weathers, last year's winner. In row five, Phil Tankson and Jackson Storm. In row six, Ryan Laney and Master Dragon 4000, trying to get that final win at SHR since they're shutting down after this year. In row 7, JP Drive in his last race of the year, and Bobby Swift is a must-win situation. In row 8, Brian Spark and Chase Race Slot. And starting in row 9 are Brandon Power Car and Ed Trunken. Here's the race format, 25 laps, 13 miles around the .52 mile track, and pit road speed is 35 miles per hour. Immediately out of turn 2, H.J. Hollis has lost his engine before the race started. Well, he's going to have to go to the garage, and we're hearing from the radio right now that H.J. Hollis has broke his gearbox immediately once he just fired up the engine and started rolling with the pace car. What a shame. The pace car is off the pits. Meanwhile, Daryl Wald car trip will uh, lead the field to the green flag through his voice. Green flag's in the air. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, you bunch of hot dogs. All right, there was Daryl Cartridge's iconic boogity, boogity, boogity. But for Martinsville, meanwhile, Cruz Ramirez takes the lead against number 95 of Light McQueen, including number 10 of Colin Bargain, and she leads the first lap of the Easy Idol 500. Right now, here's a look at the playoff standings as they run. Light McQueen currently in the safe zone. Meanwhile, Colin Bargain must pass the number 95, otherwise he's going to be eliminated from the playoffs. Here they go to lap three into turn one. These cars are not doing good right now. Here's a look at Bobby Swift trying to go up in the front. He's in the must-win situation. If he does not win this race, his championship hopes are over. For sure, this year. Bruce Ramirez leads the first three laps of the Easy Idle 500 here at Martinsville Speedway. She is trying to dominate this race. Also make her second championship four appearance. Side by side for second place. Colin Bargain versus Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen overdrove turn one. He's going to have to go back to second place in the back straight away. Now it's Lightning McQueen. Nope, it's Colin Bargain. Now here they go entering turn four. Lightning McQueen got loose. Now into lap 6, Colin Bargain in second place, trying to pass the number 51 of Cruz Ramirez. He's a, here's a look at Jackson Storm, currently in ninth place, trying to battle up the number 41 of Master Dragon 4000. Master Dragon 4000 is trying to side draft to the number 20. There's not more than Master Dragon 4000. Entering turns 1 and 3 are pretty tricky through this track. You're going to have to hit the brakes and then check if you're going to be passed by most of the other faster cars. Bruce Ramirez is flying out there. She is just dominating the rest of this race.
battle for fourth place of Wheelhouse versus Jay McPillar. McPillar has already won at Las Vegas, so he's not in a situation where he has to win this race, so he's okay. That goes with Daniel Swervis, that's the reason why their names are in gold. You know, the ones that are in blue need to advance to the next round. Jay McPillar is losing a position. Now he goes to fifth place. Meanwhile, he's going to try to climb back up. He's going back up. Nope. It's wheelhouse. Now they're going back to the stripe for lap 10. And Jay McPillar goes back to fourth place. I'm not sure McPillar will, will keep fourth place intact. And there he goes. Nope, he goes back to fourth place. He's still keeping fourth place intact. Last week at Phoenix, he did not do well. He did horribly. Like he spun on the front straight away and got some damage. Finished lower than the top 10. Side by side for third place, Bubble Wheelhouse versus Lightning McQueen. Cruiser Mears leads the first 11 laps of this race. Now get ready for the halfway jam. All right, that is your halfway jam. Now here we go with like about 11 laps to go here at Martinsville Speedway. Cruz Ramirez is still in the lead against the number 10 up Colin Bargain and Bubba Wheelhouse. Here's a look at Brandon Power Car. Recently has been announced he's gonna be moving to Hendrick Motorsports next year since he has been up with Spire Motorsports. He has not gained anything. He had some solid race runs, but not enough to get that first career win of the 2024 season. Now here we go with 10 laps to go. Colin Bargain still trying to pass the number 51 of Cruz Ramirez, but instead of Cruz Ramirez has the faster car, which is obvious already. Bubble Wheelhouse trying to pass the number 10. Also hungry for a playoff spoiler and a race win. Here's a look at Phil Tankson, one of the non-championship contenders he has been silent all year he is tr was trying to collect his first win back at Iowa in June but instead he soiled it with JD McPillar where he slammed the wall and then McPillar passed him he was trying to pass the number 42 of Cal Wetters for sixth place Bruce Ramirez is still up in the front against number 10 at Colin Bargain and Bubble Wheelhouse. Here we go with seven laps to go. Bobby Swift right now with negative 32 points away from the leader, including the advanced racers, Bobby Swift and Jay Mc... No, it's Daniel Suarez and Jay McPillar. What's going on with me? Ooh, Bubba Wheelhouse is trying to challenge the number 10 at Colin Bargain. He's a number with him. See how far he is from the number 51. Having a car creep up behind you is not good. Five laps to go here at Martinsville Speedway for the Easy Auto 500. Cruz Ramirez still in the lead, as I said, for the. I would say 10th or. 20th time already today. Well, this race is going to be the last one with pink numbers. So, as you're seeing right now with Cruz Ramirez and Colin Bargain, this race is the last one to have pink numbers. So, after this race at Homestead Miami Speedway for the championship, they're going to revert back to their normal numbers since by the time of 
Homestead Miami Speedway. It's going to be November. Three laps to go here at Martinsville Speedway around this paperclip shaped track. Cruz Amir is trying to recover. Meanwhile, Bobby Swift is racing with his life away from the number 33 and 52. Trying to catch up to the number 24 and beyond. Two more laps to go here at Martinsville Speedway. Cruz Amir is still in the lead. Meanwhile, Bob Wheelhouse trying to get for trying to race for a second place position. That 51 car has been fast all day. Not everybody has been challenging the 51 because she's been fast. The white flag is out one more time around here at Martinsville Speedway. We're ready to scroll up the leaderboard and we're just looking at the race. Now entering turn three and turn four for the final time. Cruz Ramirez will punch her ticket to the championship four at Homestead Miami Speedway. Second place Colin Bargain, third Bubba Wheelhouse, fourth Light McQueen, and fifth Jaden McPillar. Congratulations to Cruz Ramirez for winning the Easy Idol 500 and advancing to the championship four. Well, this race track has an advantage for everybody else. If you're really fast, you'd be able to win this race easily. Here are the official results. Bubba Wheelhouse is the fastest car of the day for the second week in a row. If you're a Light McQueen fan, I recommend you look away. Both Bobby Swift and Light McQueen have been eliminated from the playoffs, so they will not be able to compete for a championship. Here is the championship four grid, so it's a former champion versus three racers that have never won a championship. And Colin Bargain is making his first championship four appearance. That's impressive. Next week, we're racing at Homestead Miami Speedway for the Mood Springs 400 for the championship starting next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern and 3 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat 127, signing out.